All right, Shalom. Here watching a little bit of Alex Jones, InfoWars. Here's uh, Greg um, um, Palas here with Alex Jones and the Koch brothers exposed. Now, you know, you always hear about, oh, those poor Africans can't feed themselves, so forth and so on. I love what this brother right here says because he investigated, you know, how the um, how George Bush and everything stole the black vote, what went on in Katrina, independent investigator, and also he has something on uh, on Hugo Chavez, right, versus the network. So let's just play this right here. This is the outro, and then we're going to play a little clip of the intro. And listen carefully to what he says, all right? Okay, here we go. Venezuela cuts the price of their crude to 80 bucks a barrel. Suddenly, they're not going to worry if they're socialists or, or Nazis or from outer space. They'll love the, the Venezuelan oil. So they're purely Machiavellian. Uh, that's what David Knight says in his, his research is that they're just purely Machiavellian. And then you got, and then you got Monsanto, again, uh, you know, a switch hitter. Um, mm. You know, Hillary Clinton's career was hugely backed by Monsanto Corporation. Okay, now he's going to go into, Alex is going to be a little goofy here, but it's kind of interesting. Listen up, a little entertaining and everything. He's going to go into um, how you see Hillary Clinton, you know? You know, Hillary Clinton takes a village and everything, see how he stole that and everything. She, he's going to go and break down, you know, what we see, or at least the part we don't see, right, when she's in Africa dancing with the Africans while they are killing them. But listen up. Several pesticide biopharmacological crops are sent to the system. I want to know what happened to the tumors they grew. Hmm. All right, being a little goofy here, uh, Greg Palast, uh, I'm writing that in my head as we go along there. Uh, actually, I should do uh, Autobot stuff. How about this? Autobots, we do better. Transform and roll out. All right. I really want to do voiceovers. I've done a lot of voiceovers. It's fun. I've done national TV, movie voiceovers, you name it. I don't have time to do it, though. I'm sorry. Greg Pallet is here. Uh, Mike Adams is coming in. And I'm in a good mood today, which I guess is a good thing. Uh, Greg, in the four minutes we've got closing, uh, introing Monsanto, what's their bottom line? What's their goal? What does the Monsa Monsanto Protection mm. Act signed by Lord Obama mean? Uh, well... <laughs> That was a little Freudian slip. We're going to call them Monsanto. If you don't know about them, look up um, Monster Satan, right? Mon Monsanto, right? Check this out. Listen. Your children might have extra eyes. And I I'm very, very worried about this because I, the Guardian newspapers of Britain asked me to investigate Monsanto after I got a number of documents in which the FDA was sending uh, secret uh, treaty uh, material to Monsanto, confidential material, and Monsanto was getting inside information. This was being done by the Clinton administration. And I found out that the FDA is basically a subsidiary of Monsanto. It's a massive revolving door so that those running the FDA go in and out of Monsanto. Now they're very, like I say, they're very close to Hillary Clinton. And so I looked up what Hillary was up to. She went to Africa, and everyone says, oh, isn't that nice? She, you know, puts on the African headdress, and she's all concerned about making sure that these poor Africans get to eat. Now, I was in the Congo. The Congo doesn't need any help. It's a very, very fertile place. It doesn't need special seeds. It doesn't need our help. It just needs us to stop killing people there and taking their diamonds. They'll do fine feeding themselves. Hmm. But what did Hillary Clinton do? When she's in Africa, when the cameras are on, she says, okay, we're going to give you a lot of food aid. What the food aid is, we're, you're going to buy GMO seeds from Monsanto. In particular, they push Roundup Ready seeds. Now, Roundup Ready from Monsanto means that these are seeds which are resistant, supposedly, to the pesticides around it, which you buy from Monsanto. In other words, you get their seeds, but if you get their seeds, which the U.S. government gives you, they're no good to you unless you also spend a massive amount of money on their pesticide Roundup. So you have to buy the package, and you have to buy it every year. So, here, so instead of making Africa food independent, we're making them completely Monsanto dependent. It's not about feeding Africa. Africans have lots of land, fertile land, Lots of things to eat. Okay, the problem is civil war. The problem is theft. The problem is corruption. What they don't need is a bunch of seeds and chemicals 
from Monsanto. So I'm, again, so the Hillary Clinton Africa Food Program was about feeding Monsanto, not about free, feeding Africans. There's nothing to do with that. And now, now, if they really fed them, would that be a good idea? If it were safe, would it be a good idea? Well, I got some other documents. Monsanto sells a hormone called BST. BST is used to uh, increase the amount of milk produced by cows. Sounds good, you know, we'll have more milk, same cow. Sounds like a deal, you just shoot the cow with this stuff. Problem, um, after a while, the, in the test that Monsanto itself ran, they were finding after six weeks that the cows were beginning to, that there was pus in the cow's milk. The cows were getting udders, uh, uh, tumors on their well, udders. Well, it's okay. You just, you just radiate the milk and boil it and pasteurize it, triple pasteurize, and make it the law so you can sell blood pus milk to people. What's wrong with that? Well, the problem with that is that Monsanto, if they told us they were doing that, that's one thing. But what Monsanto did when they went to the FDA to get approval, they knocked off all the tests they had after six weeks. So the cows look fine. The first six weeks, they're just producing a lot of milk. The tumors don't, the pus doesn't show up, the tumors don't show up for six weeks. So they locked it off the test. And when two scientists in, at, in uh, Britain were reviewing their data, they said, well, what's all this extra data on this disk that you gave us? Monsanto sued these guys for theft of intellectual property and said that they would sue them under Britain's terrible libel laws if they released Monsanto's own test. Well, or oh, there you see it right there. You know, I mean, there's more where that comes from, but beware of um, Monster Satan and Monsanto and this GMO and get informed, get involved, join the InfoWars team, join InfoWars Health, learn about food security. All right? All right. Shalom Rastafari.